So now we're going to use this Snap app and we're going to use the background scan. So in order to have something to work with, we need to start at the machine. So we're going to go to embroidery. So on our screen, simply touch embroidery. So then subcategory one and go to design number 10, which happens to be a dragonfly. You can see the size, you can see the design, you can see what colors there are and simply touch set. And we're just going to touch embroidery. And here we are. The design is already there with a the color breakdown, but this doesn't help us because we need to add the background scan. So at this point, go back to your device, turning on the device. We're going to turn on my design snap. Snap capture is kind of like take the picture and we're going to have the fabric already framed up. So we're going to do the top one with the embroidery with the frame. So we're going to do that part. I already have the fabric hooped up and you have to use a hoop that has these registration marks in the hoop. Now two come with embroidery only machine and four come with a combination machine, but you have to use the hoops with these registration marks that are in the hoops and that's how the snap app works. So now here we have your app. The fabric is hooped. We're going to start with snap capture with the frame. So you start touching the top one. It tells you to hold your device flat to the hoop. So we're going to say, okay. And now you'll see what's in your hoop. I'm going to start low and come up. And as you come up, you'll see a hoop on your device and then you will be superimposed on it and suddenly you'll say hold three two one check and it says send to the machine and now you just touch that word send to the machine at the bottom and it says sending and it says sent and i'm going to touch the word okay and that's it it goes right back to the beginning of the app and we put the device down and we go to the machine. Okay, so now we're back to the screen. It tells us the image was sent from the mobile app. Update, you just simply touch OK. It says attach the frame used in the image. Well, this is the one we took the picture of, so we're going to attach this to the machine. Touch OK again. The carriage is going to move. Okay. The carriage is going to move again. Say okay. And there you go. The picture you took or the snap capture you took with the app is now displayed on your screen. The dragonfly that we brought in from the embroidery uh, catalog is there. And now you have choices. You can simply touch and drag this the dragonfly and you can see the hoop moves as you decide where you want to put this dragonfly or you can touch layout up here close to the top right hand corner simply touch it and then you have your choice of move then you get your directional arrows and you can use the arrows to move the dragonfly the difference being these arrows give you the tiny little movements and when you touch and drag you get drastic movement so your choice how you want to finesse when you go back to layout, you can do rotate. So if you want to rotate the dragonfly just a little bit instead of having to go straight up and down, you can do that too. So you can move your dragonfly wherever you'd like to go. Pretty awesome. All right, let's touch OK. Now, while you have your background scan up here, we're going to go back to layout. We can go to return. And when we go to embroidery, you can go ahead and stitch them and your dragonfly would stitch right out. Now, before we leave here, I want to show you if you want to see your dragonfly again without the background, it's as simple as this. You have a toggle switch. My words, background off, background on, background off, background on. It's just that easy. So you can return and go ahead and add something. And if you add, you have choices of, of all your different designs for embroidery or you can go to my design center and you have all your different places that you can work with. So if we go to home, 
could say okay and you're right back to the screen of where you started.